Hey guys, it's Andrea from the vlog Pine and Prospect Home, and today I want to talk to you guys about my raw wood nightstands that I have upstairs in my bedroom. I get a lot of questions about these, and so I thought I would just talk you guys through what I did in order to achieve this finish. And I'm also going to finish the video by applying some clear furniture wax. All right, so I tried to dig up some old photos of when I refinished this piece. Um, I found this little cabinet on Facebook Marketplace and it was very orange when I purchased it. The first thing I decided to do was strip it and I used something called citrus strip. And usually for me, citrus strip works really well. For whatever reason, this was just a very stubborn nightstand and the stripper just did not take it down to the finish that I was looking for. Um, so after I stripped it, I decided to take it outside and just sand the entire piece. And so I started with a coarse sandpaper and then I worked my way up to a higher number and used a fine sandpaper to really make it feel nice and smooth when I was done sanding. That really helped sanding the whole piece down and in fact sometimes that's all you need to do with the nightstand on the other side of the bed, the little wash stand that I found at a thrift store for $15. That piece actually, all it needed was sanding. I sanded the entire thing down and it just immediately had this beautiful raw wood finish and I didn't need to go any further. So sometimes sanding is really all you need to do. With this piece of furniture, it still just wasn't quite where I wanted it. So I decided to bleach it. And bleaching is honestly very simple. I use a very large brush. This is actually the brush that I use. I just pour some household bleach, chlorine bleach, into a bucket. I dipped my paintbrush into the bleach and I just rubbed it all over the dresser. And um, I chose to do one side at a time and it was a very sunny day so I just laid the cabinet in the sun to help to you know activate the bleach and get it to dry quickly so um, that really helped as well just being able to be out in the sun and of course that's better with the fumes and everything too is to be outside for sure so I probably gave this nightstand I want to say three or four coats of bleach on each side. Once you bleach your piece of furniture, it's good to rinse your piece off with a damp rag and just get any residue off of there. Um, and then you want to finish your piece of furniture. And I actually have not finished this nightstand yet. I never sealed it. And it really isn't a huge issue because this isn't, I don't know, it's not, you know, uh, an area that's used a lot. I mean, I set my, my books on it and my Bible at night. In the mornings on like Saturdays, I'll set my coffee on there. That's pretty much the only day that we really sit in bed and drink our coffee. And once in a while we've had spills or the kids come up and hit the nightstand and my coffee spills and it'll, you know, it'll leave a little stain. Today I'm actually going to be using um, this Finishing Wax Protective Top Coat by Jolie. All right, so I'm just gonna take my brush and you can see that I've already sort of created this well, if you will. Um, and I just rotate my brush around and get a good amount of wax on there. And you always want to test a small sort of inconspicuous area before you get started. You just never know how your piece of furniture is going to react to whatever you're putting on it. So I'm just going to test the side of this nightstand first and see how the wax looks. Alright guys, so I'm just going to be 100% real with you. <laughs> I do not like the way that the wax is looking on this um, on this nightstand. I just tried a small area right over here and I, I thought it would be okay. So I worked my way over to this front side and you can see that it's darker here and a little bit more orange. So what I'm thinking is that the wood is so raw and so porous that it is just sucking in and drinking up that wax and it's gonna darken it and I don't want to reverse all of that hard work I put into lightening this piece up so I'm gonna try a different method with you guys and we'll see how this works I'm gonna switch over to this Waverly wax that I grabbed at Walmart 
Um, this is a white wax and we're gonna see how this looks. I'm gonna again test a small area on the side. I'm gonna start with just a really small amount because wax with wax a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna try to remove um, some of the clear wax from my brush just with a napkin here and then I'm gonna dip the tip of my brush and this white wax and we're just gonna give it a try and see how this looks on my piece. All right, I think it's gonna be a lot better. So let me show you guys. I'm gonna start over here in the corner. It's kind of dark right here, you can kind of tell. And it goes on really white. I don't want any of that white on there. So I'm just really gonna blend it in. And I think that's gonna work. I think that's gonna work a lot better, so. I'm just going to do small areas at a time and work this wax into my surface. Now one thing that you'll notice um, is that I'm working, I'm trying to work with the grain of the wood. So I'm, I'm kind of applying it in the direction of the grain of the wood. I'm not doing a super heavy, heavy coat because I don't want it to look whitewashed or anything. But I am liking how this white wax is sort of lightening up some of these darker areas. It just sort of softens some of the redness, some of the orange tones that are still there. Um, you may have also noticed that I'm leaving the hardware on because as I said in my piano video that I showed you guys, I would consider myself a lazy painter, a lazy DIYer, <laughs> um, which is sometimes not a good thing because I want to do the bare minimum and get things done quick while my kids are asleep. And, um, and so I wouldn't recommend that, but I'm just going to work around the hardware for now and um, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> All right guys, and just like that, I am finished sealing this nightstand. It was so simple, it probably took me about 10 minutes, and I just put a thin layer of this wax on. You can see a little bit of a sheen, um, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm not gonna buff it or anything like that. I had just enough to finish the entire piece, so in my opinion, I think that that little bit of white tint in the wax sort of helped to soften some of the orange and red tones that were still there. So I'm actually very pleased with the way that this project turned out. <laughs> um, and that happens with projects. Sometimes it's good to, you know, to test small areas and make sure 
that you like the way the finished looks before you complete an entire piece and I'm really glad that I did that. I hope this uh, video was a help to you. Obviously if you want more um, white left on your surface then I would apply a much more heavy layer of wax but um, like I said I didn't want my piece to look whitewashed. I still wanted it to look like that raw wood that I worked so hard to achieve. So, Well, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please be sure and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye. <laughs>